with the help of an example, will understand the designing of hot water systems. The question is, find the heater and storage tank size for hot water for an apartment, which is having the following fixtures. So there is an apartment in which the total apartment is having 60 lavatories, 30 bathtub, 30 showers, 60 kitchen sinks and 15 laundry tubs. Okay, so th these are all the fixtures that we have inside the building. For these fixtures, we have to design a storage water tank and the heater. Okay, so what we will do, we will uh, list all the fixtures that are available inside the apartment and we have listed the count over here. Lavatory 60, kitchen sink 60, bathtub 30, showers 30. Okay, so first what we are doing, we are calculating the total demand, total hot water demand. Okay, so only those fixtures which need the hot water. Okay, so we have listed out all the fixtures, we have count all those. Now we have to write the GPH, GPH stands for gallons per hour per fixture. What is the gallons per hour? requirement for each and every fixtures we have to write, write it down so this you will get as per sp chapter 6 table e that you will get over here so for lavatories here in this table if you see uh, we have fixture column then we have different applications apartment club gymnasium hospital so these are the different applications okay and each uh, in each column you will find the values in gallons per hour or in liters per hour in this bracket this is the value is in liters and without bracket it is in gallons so we need the value which is in gallons for uh, basins private it is two i'll write here two then we have a bathtub for bathtub, it is 20. For kitchen sink, it is 10. And for last is your showers. For shower, it is how much? 30. I'll write here 30. You get the total uh, GPH as triple two zero triple two zero gallons per hour okay now this is the total demand uh, peak demand okay we have to we have to identify because all the fixtures will not be working at the same time okay so we have to take some diversity out of it okay so for that one to calculate the probable demand probable demand means the demand which will be like it, it's, it's a simultaneous demand okay so for that one we have to multiply the total demand with the demand factor okay so demand factor this you will get in the same table the same table in the in the last two columns that is the demand factor and the storage capacity factor we need the demand factor first so demand factor for apartment is 0 0.3 Okay, so I'll multiply this value by the demand factor. Demand factor where you will see in the last we have an input table. Demand factor I have written over here 0 0.3. So it will multiply with the with that value 0 0.3 and you will get the probable demand. That is the simultaneous demand of this apartment for hot water. Next step is to size the this is storage tank okay because what what is happening the cold water from the from the overhead tank or the underground water tank is supplied to this storage tank the storage tank the water is pulled into the boiler the boiler heats the water up to the desired temperature and then it is coming back to the storage tank the first step of designing the hot water system is to design the hot water storage tank Designing means the you have to identify the volume, you have to identify the size, what is the length, what is the diameter, that all we are going to do right now. So uh, what is the storage capacity? So storage capacity is equal to probable demand into storage capacity factor. So there is a 
factor to of holding the water which is standard as per sp for apartment it is 1.25 i'll write here uh, 1.25 in the storage capacity factor 1.25 as per sp table and it will multiply it with this value and you will get the tank size for 832 gallons okay next is to identify the tank diameter what will be the diameter of this tank so this tank will look like something like this okay this is the hot water storage tank so and this is the hot water uh, tank sizing table okay from this one as per the capacity you can identify the length and the diameter of the tank okay this is one of the uh, one of the standard that i have followed when you click on this link when you click on this link it will direct you to the uh, the site of this uh, tank manufacturer okay so this is as per the tank manufacturer it can vary there is no uh, means it's not a fixed value okay so it will direct you to this site and you will get all those values the diameter and all all those specifications you can download from here okay but you have to follow as per your uh, your recommendation or list of mix that that you are following that your project is following so in our case the hot water demand is 832 832 i'll go to the tank sizing chart 832 it will lie between these two i'll take 924 being on the higher side on the safe side the diameter is coming out to be this is the diameter so diameter is coming out to be 42 the model is 42144 hot water so i'll take 42 inch is the diameter 42 what is the tank length tank length is 166 166 inches okay so this is your tank dimensions and this is your tank volume so first step is completed is that is to size the this over oh, this uh, hot water storage tank okay